I just got this new 3D pen called iD3D. It's the first 3D pen that has no hot parts because it uses ink instead of plastic. No power cords are needed and the ink is built into the pens. You just squeeze the pens to use them, then use the UV light to dry the ink. Very squishy. It comes with a stencil that you can trace over, some instructions. It comes with the little tips, four of these disposable pens, and a drawing pad, and this light. It takes three AAA batteries. Yeah, it works now. Kind of nice you don't have to plug it in or anything. Well, I'm going to try the rainbow, of course. <laughs> so let's try this. Oh! It's goopy. This is kind of fun. <laughs> I'm gonna close the tip and do a new color. I like how it all blends together when you color instead of like little lines. Okay, now I'm going to try to dry this. Wow, that looks awesome in the camera. <laughs> wow, do you check out that design? That nice. I have no idea how to tell when it's done. This is what my rainbow looks like. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try adding outlines on top to see if it makes it look any better. It is messy. My hands are kind of sticky, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to peel it off. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's not dry yet. The underneath part is still wet. I'm gonna dry the under part. It's pretty cool. Check it out, I made a rainbow. Okay, then I'm supposed to draw these triangles. Okay, I'm gonna try to attach these pieces just by shining the light. I think I'm gonna have to add more ink. can draw up into the air. Yeah, that didn't really work. If I do this. Okay, well this pen is definitely not made for drawing up into the air. But, you can make stuff on the paper and then connect them to make them 3D. But this bracelet is so sticky, I don't think I could ever wear it out. It's just, it just, it kind of feels like a fruit roll up. But it looks really cool. I really like how the colors blended together, like a marble effect.
to make this pretty awesome cube. It's pretty cool. I think my favorite thing about these pens is that you don't have to plug them in. And the ink that comes out is cool ink. So you can get it on yourself. It won't burn you. So it's really safe for kids. Um, the one thing I don't like about the ink is it's really sticky. It gets messy like on your hands. The art pieces that I made, they're still sticky. Um, I, I let this sit out for like two days and it's still sticky. Another thing I didn't really like about the ink is that you have to dry it with this light, which is fine, but it takes a really long time to dry the ink. It's not like a 3D pen that uses plastic where you can like doodle up in the air. You're gonna have to doodle on the surface, harden it with this light, and then create another doodle on the surface and connect them together and that's how you would make something 3D. They're pretty easy to use. I mean, especially because they provided these stencils. It came with three stencils. It says you can download more of these online. These pens are disposable. I guess when you run out of ink, you just throw them away and buy new ones. I haven't run out of ink yet. I'm kind of curious how much ink is in these things. So I'm gonna make a giant thing and we'll see when I run out. There's plenty of ink in there. I've made this, 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 this. And this. And I still have ink left over, so there's plenty of ink in those tubes. But I would prefer if they provided more colors. They gave me four pens, but only three colors. I thought at least they should give me a blue one. Really, I'm Rainbow Girl. I need every color. So I don't have blue, so I can't make purple, but I could try to make orange. Let's see if we can mix the colors. You can mix the colors. I mixed yellow and red and I made orange. Click on the i or the description below to find out where you can buy these pens. Uh -huh.